So, you've landed a fly date, and for the first time ever, you have to take your guitar, pedal board, and luggage on a plane all at the same time. Well, first of all, congratulations. Uh, getting a fly date is like super exciting, and you know, you may be thinking, all this time I really only had to bring my guitar and my pedals with me to gigs, now all of a sudden I have to bring this on a plane, it can be a little overwhelming. Not to mention if you go on airline websites or on the internet, there's not a lot of information on there that's very comforting for musicians. Some airline websites recommend that you buy another seat. I mean, it's totally insane. I've done this successfully many times, and as a disclaimer, I wanna say this is just my method of doing it. I don't want anyone to take this as gospel. You're always taking a risk anytime you fly with anything, you know, whether it's your luggage or any kind of personal item, but I have had great success doing it this way, and today, I I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I fly with a pedal board, guitar, and luggage. Let's get started. For your gig, you're probably gonna, you're definitely gonna need a guitar. Let's just say we're doing guitar right now. So you're gonna need a guitar. You'll probably need a pedal board because you're going to need a little bit of something to shape your tone. And ultimately you will need, you know, your personal items. You're gonna need some clothes. You're gonna need your toiletries. Right off the bat, just to make this a little easier, I always try to see if I can get a guitar where I'm flying. If I can either have the event company rent me one, if I can borrow one from another band member, maybe if I'm flying in to play with another band. Eliminating having to travel with the guitar through the airport process is gonna make things a lot easier. But so for the rest of this, we're gonna assume that you are bringing a guitar though, okay? So let's go over the standard sort of airline baggage that they let you bring. You have to pay for a checked bag, but let's just say you usually get to bring a checked bag, which is a pretty big size, but that goes under the plane, it gets tossed around, there's like all sorts of things that happen to a checked bag. Then you have a carry-on bag, which is a pretty limited size. Then you they let you have a personal item, okay? And you really wanna take advantage of all three of these things, and this is all gonna kind of work into how we're gonna do this. For domestic flights, my tried and true method is to take my luggage and check it, okay? So if you have a fly date that someone else is paying for, like they're paying you for the gig, see if you can get them to order you the check bag and send your luggage, just even if it's a carry-on size bag, in with the check baggage. Then you're gonna have your guitar serve as the carry-on bag, and we'll get a little bit more into how that's gonna work. Then what you're gonna do is take a small pedal board and basically make like a greatest hit style pedal board that's gonna fit as your personal item, okay? This is gonna go underneath the seat it's essentially gonna replace what you were using as like a backpack, like a personal item. And then I recommend that if you guys want to bring some personal items on the plane, that you get like a, belt, let's call it like a bum bag or like a belt bag, basically just like a bag that goes over your shoulder, like a fanny pack is kind of what it used to be called, but that's really good. I always travel with that. I put my passport in it and my, my phone and you know, some cough drops or something, or maybe like a little snack or your AirPods, headphones, whatever you wanna bring. So part of my reasoning for this is that you do not wanna check the guitar. I do not recommend ever checking a guitar and putting it under the plane. No matter what kind of case it's in, it's really just a big risk for me. So this is what I do with the guitars. First, I recommend getting a mono bag. I know that they're expensive. I know that it's kind of crazy, like $250 for a gig bag or whatever. But if you're playing a lot of shows, the thing's gonna pay for itself. And it really is the best gig bag. It has a tread on the bottom. It has a lot of support while also still being a gig bag. The fact that it's a gig bag is going to help you when you get to the airport. And I'll kind of explain that in the next steps. So so let's get back to the pedal board. Basically just looking at all three different items that an airline lets you bring on, it made a lot of sense for me to convert this personal item, which generally is like 17 to 18 inches long, and about nine to 10 inches high. It's basically like the size of a backpack. So what I ended up doing was I got a Pedal Train Metro 16, like this. I mean, well, this actually is it. This is the small board that I have. So what I have on here and what I typically do is I have a tuner with a buffer. It runs into two stages of drive, which is you know basically what I use anyway, a delay with tap, a clean boost for my solos, and then a tremolo pedal. Yeah, so you're gonna wanna get, uh, you know, you're gonna need to get a second power supply. I have a Keox Soul on here. It's a little bit of an investment to get this going, but this doubles as my acoustic guitar pedal board as well. It's just a cool little pedal board to have. So you're gonna show up at the airport and you're gonna go through security with all this stuff. You're gonna, well, you're gonna take your bag, you know, to the people, the desk there, and you're gonna have your, your luggage and have them check that and it's gonna go on the conveyor belt and go away. Then you're gonna go through security with your pedal bag and your guitar, okay? You're gonna put it right on that little conveyor belt that goes through the security thing. I recommend taking your pedal board out of the bag and putting it into the tray. So then you get to the gate, okay? And this is critical. So you're gonna wanna go right to the gate agent, like that desk that's right up front with your guitar on your shoulder, you know, or whatever. You're gonna wanna walk up and basically say the following, say, hey, I have a guitar with me. I'm boarding, you know, a little bit later. Is it possible if I could try to find space in the overhead compartment for the guitar? 
or if I could store it in a closet on board. If you're really nice, they usually will help you out. In my experience, they have always helped me out or at the worst case scenario, and it's really not that big of a deal, to gate check it. And if you're not familiar with what gate checking is, it's essentially what they do with wheelchairs and strollers at the end of that little thing that you walk down like right before you actually get on the plane. Everyone with wheelchairs and strollers leaves them there. They give you a little ticket. It goes under the plane, but it goes into a spot that's not with the rest of the baggage. I've done that before. The one thing that you wanna do if you are doing that because of the pressure is uh, you wanna detune the guitar. I have flown without detuning the guitar and nothing happened. Honestly, I think I've like just forgotten, but as a good practice, I would detune the guitar, meaning that you just tune the slack on the strings down so that they're a little floppy and it's not putting too much tension on the neck. So yeah, really that's my tried and true method for flying. You're gonna wanna have your uh, baggage checked, your guitar as the carry on and speak with them about either putting it in the overhead or putting it in a closet or at the very least gate checking it. And then you're gonna have a small pedal board that's like a greatest hit style pedal board that goes as your personal item. You put it underneath the seat. You still have plenty of room for leg room. It's actually a little better than a backpack. And then you're gonna wanna get one of those shoulder bags, a bum bag or a, you know, a fanny pack to put some of your personal items in. If anyone has any of their own recommendations for this, I would love to know because this is just what I came up with you know, in my basic sort of neurotic self looking this up. Please leave a comment if you have any other way that you do this. I'd love to hear what you've been doing or I'd love to hear if you use this and then end up, you know, it ends up working out and you come back with all your stuff in one piece. And if you enjoy guitar related content, please hit the subscribe button. It means a lot to me. And, uh, and hit the like button on the video if you enjoyed the video. And uh, you know, I encourage you to check out some of my other stuff. So maybe I'll see you in another video, all right? Safe travels.